Hi everybody, this is Susie and welcome to another Wild Orca Crafts video on behalf of the Wild Bunch. I have a few shabby chic slash vintage gifts for you to share with you today and um, I'm really anxious to show it to you. Um, during the course of the storm there was some uh, Susie time and I got a chance to do a little bit of crafting and um, I'm very excited to share the few items that I have created uh, for you today using the uh, Wild Orchid Crafts uh, embellishments and mulberry paper roses so here we go. Okay. Um, before I go ahead and, and, and do everything all in one shot I'm just gonna clear a few things away so that we can enjoy each item separately together. So sorry. You know, I'm never ready. Okay. Um, what I have here, uh, th these are one of those uh, jars that you uh, can make like tomatoes and things like that and, and store it away that have the cover. And what I had thought about doing for this one was I thought it would be something different if I were to cover the entire jar with lace. And that's exactly what I did. I covered the entire jar with this really pretty vintage lace. It's a really large piece that I have. It's from my mother-in-law's stash. And um, I have embellished the whole entire outside um, with Wild Orchid Crafts uh, embellishments and, um, and flowers. And if you can see, uh, glowing on the inside is a battery-operated candle. You can also use a tea light candle, but I kind of like using the battery operated candles. And this came out really pretty. I'm very pleased with the way that it looks. And I'm just going to slowly introduce to you uh, the items that were used, which everything in this video will be listed in the drop down box below. Now, these are, you can use any kind of jar, even a pickle jar if you like. Just save your jars as you go along, or you can simply go to a 99 cent store and uh, pick up some jars there. So um, what I have here basically is um, I had used uh, the beautiful uh, trellis roses, which are absolutely gorgeous. These are, I believe, the one and a half inch and the uh, uh, one and a quarter inch roses. And if you had seen my last design team package, uh, you know that um, these are the, the roses that are from uh, that DT package that was sent to me from uh, Paul and Sari. Thank you again. And um, I, I've also used their uh, their new pearls that they have, the shooting pearls. They come like three strands on one. And I cut those up so I had um, quite a bit of um, pearls to go in a, a different direction there. So instead of using it as one, I cut them up and uh, use them uh, scattered around. So I want to make sure we're in picture here. Okay, and I've used these uh, taupe colored roses, and these are from the... the the package that has the peach roses in there. Very, very pretty. Um, if you can see there that I have also used, I'm using a tripod today, so let's see if I can get a little closer here. Um, I've also used the uh, flat back pearls there that you can uh, separately glue on, which are really, really nice to, to work with. Um, and I've also got, let's see, uh, sorry. If you can see there, I have some other small roses. Uh, and again, like I said, those will all be listed in the drop-down box below. So this is kind of like um, a vintage uh, slash shabby chic style. I don't know what you call it. Susie style, if you want. <laughs> um, a kind of project. Way at the bottom here um, on the glass jar, I also have uh, from my stash some trim that's there. Uh, the, the Chinese braid, and the strands of pearls that are hanging down are from Wild Orchid Crest as well. And like I mentioned, everything will be in the drop-down box below. And there's one of their new items, that um, a pearlized uh, cabochon rose that's there. Very pretty. I just like that. It's kind of like the center point for both sides because um, if you can see, uh, that's what I had done on this side and the other side. So, um, plain and simple, I used hot glue all around for the material. It was very easy to tack down. Um, I'm sure you can use um, any other kind of fabric glue with the glass. I would hope that it would stick, but I really didn't feel like playing with the glues, so I knew that the hot glue, I, I couldn't go wrong with that. And some rhinestones from my stash and the beautiful Wild Orchid Craft flowers. Just really, really looks so pretty when the lights are out. Um, I've had this already um, on the end table in the living room. I 
had it in the bedroom just to see what it looks like. And it is just the most uh, romantic looking jar. Um, and I do believe that's because I covered the whole jar with glass. I wanted to make an altar jar because I have quite a bit of them. But uh, to be honest with you, I really haven't had it in me to do much of those things lately today. So um, to make a long story short, uh, I, uh, I really wanted to do something different by covering the entire jar uh, with the lace. And um, uh, so I'd like to show you my uh, next project that I have created, uh, which is really, really something cute. Um, these, are, these are all gifts coming, ladies, that you can certainly put together that is definitely inexpensive for um, possibly a friend. Uh, that you may know that you um, you're going to visit possibly for dinner or somebody uh, is having a sweet 16 or a wedding and you want to make small favors for the table uh, you can simply uh, get these wine corks from Michael's or save yours as you go along but if your gifts I would definitely go with um, with the white uh, with with brand new wine corks so um, Right here I have uh, the two wine corks that I have created, and they they came out really very pretty. I just uh, dug out a hole at the top and um, and used some hot glue and pushed in these uh, these gems that I have purchased. You can get them actually uh, in a store that sells wedding items. I bought them in a box, the clear and the pink, and I've simply used some Wild Orchid Crafts shooting pearls. Uh, some vintage seam binding and uh, some little rows and some um, calla lilies and at the very top of this one right here I used a flat back pearl uh, just very elegant very pretty makes a really cute little presentation I mean I don't know if I would um, you know use it every single day with my wine because it's too pretty but I would definitely if you're having a sweet 16 possibly and you want to make a bunch of them for the table to give as giveaways um, if you want to make little tiny wine bottles and put like the message in a bottle and then close the top off uh, or like you can put the thank you inside of a little wine bottle and, and put the top off with a cork by using one of these I think it would really work out very nicely a little something different to give away at a party even if you're having the party in your house and you're having 10, 15 people uh, you can certainly do it like that. The bag of corks was about 20 corks for about $4 in Michaels. You may be able to buy them online um, a little bit cheaper. So, um, yeah, that's that's the uh, second project for Wild Orchid Crafts that you could certainly go on there and get their, um, their shooting pearls and these flowers and the beautiful uh, white or that other pale pink color uh, on their website. And um, here is the next project uh, that I had made for Wild Orchid Crafts, which um, this is really very cute. I'm videotaping right now! So sorry, everybody. I just didn't want to make another video with an interruption. <laughs> so, um, make a long story short. <laughs> so sorry you're hearing this. So, make a long story short. Um, this is the actual top of the uh, the jar, and I it was I was hoping that it would fit on there, but it it didn't actually fit on. So um, what I had done was was I I can always do a tutorial if you're interested on how I did that, but it does not screw on the top of the jar. Uh, this is actually a pin cushion, which it worked out really well because I can make extra pins and have it on the side, and it looks really really cute, very vintage. Some of this lace that I had in my stash, a piece of muslin here, and the Chinese braid, and the beautiful wild orchid crafts, very shimmery, uh, shabby looking uh, vintage seam binding. I just love that. So I just wanted to add that in and, and show you what else I had done. Um, and lastly, I have another item here, and you guys know me uh, with my heart pillows. Um, again, as, as part of this uh, gift-giving set, uh, I thought it would be really nice to uh, put in a heart. So what I have here is a really nice, very cushiony, um, uh, puffy heart pillow uh, with the beautiful Wild Orchid Crafts. Um, strands of pearls here in the white another flat back pearl here I'm just going to zoom up so that you can see that and 
and um, it's a flat back pearl. Here's the other flat back pearls without the little pearls around it. Again, all of the item numbers to everything that's used here will be listed accordingly in the drop down box below for your reference so that you can go and have a look at the website and get some of it for yourself. These beautiful burgundy roses here and these carnation flowers and the beautiful calla lilies, the tiny roses in the burgundy and some in the pink as well and some of the rhinestones from my stash and the uh, white seam binding that's there as uh, I'm just going to zoom back a little bit, sorry about that, so that you can um, you can see uh, that this can actually be hung um, and I have the, the lace on the front and back which is also the matching lace that's on the candle. I didn't use the same roses because I did not want it to, to use uh, the brownish colored roses um, on the heart. This is really, really pretty. I, I've made these as sachets for people um, for uh, wedding parties um, at this size, which the heart is probably around, I don't know, five or six inches around uh, circumference. And uh, you can actually uh, spray some perfume on there or any kind of um, uh, body spray that you like to use. It smells pretty and you can hang it on your hanger in the closet. So yeah, um, that's it basically my friends. Um, I just wanted to share with you. Um, I actually have another video on something else, but I think I'm just going to add that on. Um, oops. Okay, we'll, we'll leave it down for now. Add that on into this um, so that I can just upload videos since I've uh, been having a problem um, uploading some videos lately. I don't know if it's because of the storm and because the lines keep dropping so I'm just going to wing it and add this item in um, and I'm hoping that you can uh, see that clearly. So sorry. Okay, the next item here is uh, actually a spoon. It's a ceramic spoon and um, I will quickly show you uh, you can get these at like um, Home Goods or um, some of those uh, other stores like um, Bed Bath and Beyond. They're probably about four or five dollars. I can't remember. I've had this for a while and found it in the cabinet in the china closet. Um, and I just took one of those and felt like I wanted to play with something a little bit different. So um, I just I'd like to put something behind that. If you can just bear with me for a moment. So sorry. <laughs> I just want to make it stand out a little bit so that you can see a little clearer, and I hope that has helped it some. Um, I, I took the spoon, and I had first used some Mod Podge with a picture of Marie Antoinette in the center. There's a little bit of a glare from the light, but you can definitely see uh, what I have done there. If I put my hand there, you can see it now a little bit clearer. So sorry that the light is bright. Um, and... I have uh, the Marie Antoinette picture that I used with the Mod Podge, which was really kind of nice uh, because I didn't think it was going to stick on the ceramics, but I let it dry overnight, and it did with no problem. Um, I also had taken some lace from my stash, and I gathered that around by hand and hot glue, and hot glued that down all the way around the spoon, adding some of the beautiful uh, small pink two-tone roses from Wild Orchid Crafts, and a, a larger rose here, I think that's five eighths of an inch uh, from Wild Orchid Crafts, as well as uh, the strands of white pearl and uh, the larger rose up on top, and some of the pink seam binding, and even the back of the spoon is completely uh, nice and clean, and with a little uh, piece of a Wild Orchid Craft flower that I peeled off to make another flower smaller. This is really very cute. And um, I hope that um, you've enjoyed uh, watching this video as much as I've enjoyed uh, making it to share it with you. There's my phone. It's an important call. And uh, don't forget to check out all the items in the drop-down box below. This is Susie. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Bye.